Get Smart, Lessons from the Artist, Pablo Picasso. I think we can learn a lot from the Spanish artist Pablo Picasso, and one of the things that's always intrigued me is that he cultivated a constellation of creatives. He always surrounded himself with creative people and sort of fed off this creativity as well. Picasso said, what I capture in spite of myself interests me more than my own ideas, and I I think that's important to know about working backwards, to just get started. I think Picasso would have worn a Nike Just Do It t-shirt. But it's important to get started before you even know what you're going to do, because that's when the big ideas can hit you. Now, Picasso is famous for his different periods, you know, like the blue period, the rose period, the African art-influenced period. And I liken this to Madonna or maybe David Bowie, that it's important not to be a one-trick pony, to really change it up and reinvent yourself and rethink uh, what you're about and experiment with new techniques and new styles and just kind of new persona. Going down new paths and uh, learning new technologies, for example, can lend themselves to different techniques. Picasso revered the past. He looked to the past to look forward. In fact, the Demoiselle d'Avignon, in fact, the whole Cubism movement was inspired by African art. So I think it's important to look back on human history and see what we can gain from it and how we can remix it into our future. All artists love their muses, and Picasso had many. Uh, it's said that Picasso invented a new style each time he fell in love with a new woman. Françoise Gillot was his lover, muse, the mom of his kids, and she later actually married Jonas Salk. Uh, Silvette David, she worked at a nearby pottery studio and he created 40 works about her. She's the famous girl with a ponytail and it said Brigitte Bardot actually based her ponytail after uh, Silvette. I think it's so important to be whimsical, to play. Play is okay. To embrace that youthful artist within you. And as Picasso said, it takes a long time to grow young. It's important to get in touch with that curiosity and that wonder of being a child again and seeing the world like a child does. And that's where the true creativity comes through. And yet, even though Picasso would play, he knew that art was sheer power and it was important to stand for something and to use the platform that you're given for change. And that was never more evident than um, his painting Guernica after the battle, after the, the bombing of Guernica in his home country. And he was supposed to paint this uh, wonderful piece about technology for the expo. And instead it became, the, you know, the icon of sort of the horrors of war. He said, what do you think an artist is? He is a political being constantly aware of the heartbreaking, passionate, or delightful things that happen in the world, shaping himself completely in their image. And sometimes... They're very heartbreaking, as Guernica was to Picasso. Picasso knew that brain trumps brawn. There's a famous story about a Nazi officer coming to Picasso in exile and plopping a postcard of his painting Guernica down and saying, did you do this? And Picasso says, no, you did. Picasso was wary of computers. He said, they're useless. They can only give you answers. Well, they should be more than a sexier TV, as Chris Lawrence of Mozilla says. They should be used for creation, not just consumption. Picasso called his paintings his children. Imagine if we all thought of our work in that way, if we loved our work and we honored our work, and our students loved their work as well and didn't give disclaimers when they were presenting it. Picasso was a radical innovator. He knew the time was right to seize the moment, develop cubism, break all the boundaries. The world was ready. But he also learned how to paint traditionally. He learned the rules like a pro and broke them like an artist. Simplicity is sublime. Picasso said, if I paint a wild horse, you might not see the horse, but you will certainly see the wildness. In fact, it's been said that the folks at Apple use Picasso's bull sketches to train their designers to show how you can reduce something to its very essence, 
with a few lines. One of my favorite quotes by Picasso is, Others have seen what is and have asked why. I have seen what could be and asked why not. I think it's important for us to live in the why not or the what if, some people say. Many people don't think of creativity as a habit. Habit sounds mundane, it sounds dreary, but it really does need to be scheduled and practiced. And you'll see that art does wash away from the soul the dust of everyday life, as Picasso so eloquently stated. A very moving quote from Picasso is, the meaning of life is to find your gift and the purpose of life is to give it away. I think this should be hanging in all the classrooms. What's your gift? And how will you give it away today? <laughs>